So we're going to do a page called 16th Note Variations. It's part of chapter 4 in the drum set book. Do you see a drum set? No, you see a pad. Are you scared? It's back. Sorry to do this to you, but you'll love it. So, um, since I like the pad so much, we're going to warm up with this exercise on the pad. It's basically a um, 16th note and 8th note variation page. It's pretty easy. First one is this. is two lines. Next line. That's number one. Okay? We're going to finish up on the pad, and we're going to do number two before we go to the drum set. This one is a little bit different rhythm. Instead of sixteenths, one E and a, we're going to do one E and. It's going to be right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Okay? So number two is this. Next line. Okay. Number three is a new variation, another 16th note variation. It's counted one and a. The last one was one E and. This one is one and a. And that's going to be right, right, left. Right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. That little exercise I just did, practice that a lot. That'll help you with number three, and it helps a lot with the drum set. Yes, the drum set. I know, you're crying over the pad. So we have one and a two and a three and a four and a one. So let me play number three for you. Okay, we can move to the drum set, and we can put these same things around the drums. So that first one, which you learned a second ago, was... We can put that around the drums. And you can go on through the exercise like that. You can do the standard end shape, you can do it backwards, X's, U's, that we usually do for our fills, you can go nuts. And um, you could even use these as fills when you get these good enough. So you could use that standard fill. But number two is where we could kind of start in some new fills. So number two we do that. And those are a little bit different rhythms for you on the drum set. So we could do our fills like that. Okay, number three is another variation. Uh, that's the one and a rhythm. The sticking will be really important on this, so make sure you get the right, right, left, right, right. That should be worked out on the pad. Make sure you did it on the pad. I can see you through the computer. If you didn't get it on the pad, don't bother with the drum set because it's not going to happen. So number three is this. See me this up? Yep. And obviously you could use that in with some fill with some drum beats too. Um, the other challenge I have on this page, on the bottom, it says challenge, put the right hand on the ride and the left hand on the snare. So, when you're practicing these, you could even do this uh, like so. So instead of... 
We can put our right hand in the ride, left hand in the sand. This is number two. And the next one. So after you practice that on the pad, you can try that last challenge too. So try all those things, put those Put those uh, exercises around the drums, orchestrate them. Put those exercises in with the beat. So use them as fills. And then even try your challenge where you're practicing these as you do on the pad, but with your hands on two different surfaces. I know, you love it. Enjoy.